Hi, my name is Leonard. Hi, my name is Trev. And welcome to another episode of WWF Sustainable Seafood Challenge. And today we are here to feast on tasty food created by Sustainable Seafood. And we are at the Bosch Experience Center, which houses the Bosch appliances, which are energy efficient and support green living, which makes them a great partner for WWF Seafood Campaign. And today we are going to challenge Chef John C to create a popular Singaporean dish Fish head curry using only sustainable seafood. Wow! Let's let's see if you can do it, man. It sounds like a challenge. Yep. Go, go, gas, go, gas. Oh. Chef, chef, good to see you. Good to see you, chef. Hi, chef. Chef, so I heard you took up the challenge of making fish head curry, but sustainable seafood. Is that right? Yes. Whoa. We're gonna do your fish head curry Chinese style. Chinese wait, style. Wait a minute, chef. <laughs> How many styles How are many there? Style? Oh, oh, chef, why so you, fancy? You know, you know what, what happens is that you know we're living in a country like Singapore. Okay. Uh, okay. Actually, we have our rich culture. We have mm. Chinese that multi ratio. Mm. Mm. Multi ratio. Three multi ratio. Mm. Indian curry to me is a little bit. The spices are a bit more stronger. Oh, stronger. Yeah. Okay. okay. Pungent. Okay. Stronger. And then the Malay tends to have their future a little bit more on the spicy, spicy. and the sour side. Ah, yeah, with okay. my Chinese, yeah. I would say it's in between both of them. Chef, uh, tell us a little bit more about the fish head that you're using. You know, it just looks so big and like meaty. So. This is actually uh, one of the few seafood that is actually on the sustainable seafood list. Ah. Sustainable seafood list? Oh. Yeah. Is it on the oh. seafood this guide list? You mean? Yes, yes, this seafood list? Guide this list. Is the one. Okay. What, uh, what fish uh, are you I'm using I'm going to replace it with actually uh, what we call the Goben Jock fish. Oh, jock fish? Okay. You go to the marketplace, you'll have them, I want Angoli. Mm. So they give it to this. So <laughs> you can identify with the gold band. Yes, correct. Okay, ah, actually, you wow. actually see. Uh, you know the gold band down here. Oh, you oh, see the gold band near the, the, the eyes and wow. eyes and okay. the body sides. There is actually traces of gold. So it's easy to it's, it's easy to identify. Very, yeah. oh, it's really right. unique though. It's yeah, really unique. The basic basics of mm. curry is basically. Garlic, garlic. Uh, yeah. shallot, shallot huh? ginger. Ginger. Shallot, two parts. Mm. Garlic, one part. Ginger, one part. So it's two, one, one. Two, yes. one, one. Oh. Correct. The next thing you actually will need is actually you need some curry leaf. Curry leaf. And okay. then some red and uh, green chili. Ch chili. A little okay. bit of lady fingers. Lady fingers. A little bit of brinjoy. Mm. We need some tomatoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some curry powder. Coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Coconut milk. Uh, turmeric juice or what oh. we call asam, uh, a good avocado oil. The most important, which is the fish actually head. the angoli. Fish yeah. Angoli. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's get cooking. Yeah. The fish yes. have to actually scale it scale. and then clean it. We're mm -hmm. going to put this into the Bosch steamer. Yes. We actually have a steamer okay. here. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. That is real whoa, that's really hot, man. So you, you steam for how long? It's so, 8 to right. 10 minutes, depending on the size of the fish. Okay. Right, okay. Right. You press start. So while it's steaming, we're going to prepare the other. We're going to do the yes. paste. Um, what do you want me to do? Shallots. shallots. So that's two parts, right? Yeah. Everything? Yeah, everything. Yeah. Really? <laughs> you thought two parts put two inside? Yeah, right? I thought two parts put two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so make sure it's locked nicely. So okay, one hand down. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Done? Okay. Oh. That is how powerful. On the wok itself, add a little bit of avocado oil. Heat up a little bit. Okay, oh. as you put in anything to fry, be it shallots and ginger and things like that, always remember you must hear the sizzling sound. Can you do me the ginger there? Ginger. In the blender? Yes. In the pan. Yes. Everything? Everything. Yes, everything. Oh. Is it, is it? Is it done, Chef? Yes. I open up. I put in the garlic also. The garlic. Oh, garlic. so the I mean, garlic. I mean, a little bit of water. Because right. oh, the yeah. ginger might be a little bit more on the fibrous side. Okay. And then we just add a twinge of water, maybe. Add a just a bit of water. Of water. Well, a bit of oh, water. Yes, and bit then of we water. blend again? Yes, we yes. blend. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost fine. Okay. So you can see that the onions are too brown. And this has mm. actually been done very simple and easy. Scoop up all the ginger and garlic mix. Oh. Wow, the smell. Ooh. So once it's done, one of the ways we engage is actually uh, we see a thin layer of oil. Some people call this the rumpa or the chili paste and things like that. Ah, yeah. cut the this chili? into three and All cut right. this into two. Let me see your knife skills. Uh, uh, hello? Hey, Taking very long. Man. Getting nervous, lah. Okay. Slowly, hey, nervous, nervous. Uh, Do you okay. know what's this? Uh, this two piece, right? Curry leaf. Mm. Put your hands at the bottom of the leaf. Uh. Oh, okay. Smash it. Then, can you have the flavor? Oh my god. So oh, remember? It's like, it's like you're releasing the, yes. the, the fragrance. You want the, you want the aroma. Good. We are doing fish head curry, so we are actually doing fish curry. Okay. Fish curry. Fish curry goes in. Just will take around three to five minutes. Three to five minutes. As the piece gets thicker, mm. uh, do remember to scratch the bottom. Scratch the bottom. This will burn very easily. So nice. when this is done, let it sit for a while. Okay. You can smell the curry okay. from here already. Help me throw the 
the chili. chili. True. Remember to wash your hand after this, huh? Yeah, you know you were stinging. Yes, oh. teacher. Oh. <laughs> Let it fight for a while until the chili soften. Mm -hmm. Get some warm water or hot boiling water. This warm water. Fasten the process. Oh. Normally for this is around 1.2 to 1.3. Later. Uh, wow. Later. Wow, yeah. it, it looks Colors good. Colors and things like that. Let it bring to a boil. Maybe you can help me put in okay. vegetables. Vegetables. Tomatoes and bring joys. Okay. One of the methods to teach you is that whenever oh. you put vegetables, do not just throw it in the center. One of the tips is actually try to throw to the side. To so the it side. doesn't splash up. Oh, oh. Right, right, right. Let me do it the professional the way. The professional okay. way. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be like able, a chef. But able to do that, uh, what happens is that sometimes uh, from oh, this, we oh. can actually gauge whether the person cook at home or not. Yeah. Oh, you don't cook at home. Then it doesn't cook okay. at home. Okay. Oh. A little salt. Just, Just a, a little, little bit. bit. Just a little bit, guys. Just a little bit. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks good. Oh, the juices. A little bit of asam. Awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that, that's not a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of salt. Uh, that's what a uh, chef like to say. But well, coconut milk, one of the things to actually take note of is always make sure you off the heat. Then you add it in. Whoa. 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 Coconut it's coconut so satisfying cream. to watch it go down. Oh. Oh my. Oh, it smells really good now. Let's see. The fish. Mean leaves. Yes. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, whoa. The Ooh. steam. Drain off the excess water. Okay. And then. I'm gonna pour the curry. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, gonna present it Ooh. straight away. Grab a spoon. Okay, okay. Taste the gravy. Let's see, right. Ooh. Ooh. Power, right? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You know, I'm a fan of spicy. Right, this, this is, but this is, um, this is, this is spicy. Slightly spicy. It's slightly I, I, above average. I know, I, but I know Leonard is like, is like not a fan of spicy. Uh, no, no. I'm actually a very good, like, spice person. Fish egg curry is one of my favorite dish, oh. and you know this satisfies like my taste bud. But I'm not too sure whether this will satisfy yeah. the gas tasters' taste bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody have a different taste profile. Let's keep the finger frost. Let's serve them. Let's oh, go. Let's go. Confident, chef. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Here comes the fish egg curry. Woo. Thank you, chef. Let's try. Thank you so much. Structure and time, chef. Is it spicy for you? It is spicy, but it's very nice. It's mm. pleasantly spicy. Mm. Chef, this is, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. So that, to me, it's like, you must keep away from John's temple. Mm. Okay? Mm. An easily replacement would be actually what we call the angoli, mm. which is actually a job fish. It does taste a bit different from the normal fish, but very fresh. Yes. How would I know what I'm eating if I want to go out mm. and I want to go for the angoli? Asking the, the vendors, or even to do it, you know, look at the video to, to get how it's been cooked, you can actually do it yourself. Yeah. And then you go to the supermarket, what you should go for is actually look for the MSC okay. or the ASC logo. Through this list, they have like three different colors, green, orange and red. So for the green one, it's like the one that you can, you can eat. Like, that's okay. Highly recommend this. Okay. For the orange one, is like you need to think twice because like, you know... So uh, once in a while, once, once in a while, yeah. Yeah. Fish. No, because yeah. they might move to the red one, which is the one you should avoid. But could I now do a fish head? curry with the fish of the green list, what would you recommend? I would highly recommend you to use the, try the salmon oh. or the tilapas. very different. Tilipas. And then if I'm going to do it with the tilapas, normally what I'll do is I'll actually slightly fry the fish oh. to give it a twist. And obviously the taste would speak for itself. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Carry on eating, carry on. Yes. Please carry on eating. I guess you passed the challenge, chef. <laughs> yes. 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 I'm very up. thankful. Congratulations, chef. That was a really good sustainable dish, and that fish and curry damn good. Uh. Thank you, thank love you. it. Really You're always welcome. Damn You're always good. Welcome. Now that you guys learned how to make a curry fish head at home, but whether or not you choose to cook it at home or have it outside, remember, always, always ask for sustainable, sustainable seafood. seafood. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna eat my curry. Yeah. See you guys. Hey, Jolie. Hello, Bojio.